If we know we can't do this, why do we keep doing it? Let me tell you what I'm referring to. I just read a Facebook post of a child welfare worker with 52 children on their caseload. And they apparently are in a location where they are the only child welfare worker. And to be a little more accurate, they're the only current child welfare worker. Apparently the agency has positions, but they're not filled. So there's effectively only one child welfare worker in this agency, 52 children on their caseload. Now I know there's some of you who might be able to say, 52, that's not anything. I had 106 or 221 or whatever. If you had a more than 52 or close to that, put it in the comments. But regardless of the actual number, there's one thing that we know about a high caseload. Oh, there's a few things. First of all, we know that there is not a social worker on the planet who can provide those children with the time, the care, and the attention to detail that it requires to manage them as a case on their caseload. Now, obviously, as many of you know, when this is the case, every single child on that caseload is at risk because they're not getting the attention that they need. Secondly, that organization is in a position where they have a very high degree of liability because they are knowingly giving someone a caseload that is unmanageable. Many of us are taught in school that you can't pour from an empty cup. You might be able to do this for the short term, but in the long term, it is completely unsustainable. And that being the case, when that social worker has a breakdown and has to take time off or leave the profession because of that extremely high caseload, then what? What's the plan? Now, it's easy to sit here and say, oh, don't let yourself get into that situation. Just walk away. Don't let management give you that many cases. But that can be much easier said than done. However, I believe this. The organizations that we work for treat us the way that we train them to treat us. When we continuously say yes to more and more and more unreasonable caseloads, all the system learns is that this is sustainable. There's no issue here. Let's keep doing the same thing. However, when we as individuals refuse to take on unmanageable caseloads, or when we as a profession set some clear, consistent guidelines nationwide, when we do that, these organizations will be forced to respond. Because when they don't have enough people to do the job, when they're not able to recruit enough people into the jobs in the first place, or when they're not able to retain them, and we're getting pretty close to a breaking point now, they are going to be forced to do something from a systemic organizational level. And that includes state and federal changes as well. So all that being said, I know it's easier said than done. But if we don't do something now, who will suffer? Children and families on our caseloads who don't get the attention that they deserve, and we as individual social workers who cannot sustain those types of caseloads. So let me know in the comments below, what's your caseload? What's the highest caseload you've seen? And what is one small step that an individual social worker can take towards putting realistic guidelines and limits on ridiculous, unsustainable caseloads? Let me know what you think about this. It's the same old story.